In this video, we are going to be talking about how to write a research proposal. First, we need to talk about what the goal of your research proposal should be. And the goal of your research proposal is to convince others that your research project is novel and feasible. And then secondly, that you are actually capable of completing the project. Before you start writing your research proposal, you want to first start with what your idea is. And so there's two main ways to talk about your idea. The first is research questions. So it's asking a specific question that you can then perform research on. The second one is a research hypothesis, and this is actually an educated guess of what your research is going to find. And this is usually informed by recent literature. Once you have your research idea, you want to then analyze your idea and make sure that it is feasible, novel, and that people believe that you have the expertise to complete the research and testing that idea. Once you know that your research idea is a good one to write a proposal on, you then want to start creating your research plan. The first step of that is creating your research aims. And so in your aims, you want to draft two to four different phases of your research or independent research aims so that one aim is not dependent on the other. And then you want to make sure that each question is relating to the overall research question or hypothesis, and it's not bringing in random experiments that you just want to do, but make sure that they're all interrelated. Once you have your aims completed, you can then start working on a proposal outline. And so in your outline, you first want to start with an introduction and background knowledge necessary for your proposal. Then you're going to talk about the research plan that you've come up with. And then finally, finishing out with the impact of this research and future directions. In your introduction, you want to start out by talking about why your field is important. And then you want to cover what your field is. So you want to give a good amount of background knowledge that a non-expert can understand what your field is and would be able to understand your research. Finally, you want to cover what has been done in your field up to this point so that the people who are reading your proposal knows where your research fits within the frame. And then also this lets them know that you understand what's been done in your field to know that your project is actually novel. Once you've covered your introduction, you then want to start writing about your research plan. So the first thing I write about in my research plans is I just describe the overall plan, the different aims I'm going to be doing, and then what, what the overall trajectory of that is. And then I'm going to actually have subsections for each of my aims. And within those, I'm going to spend time describing what the aim and the experiments that I'm going to do are. I'll then have another section on what the expected outcomes are for those experiments. And then I'll finish that aim up with where I think the potential pitfalls are and the alternative approaches I will do to make sure that I'm successful. So once I've covered that information for all of my aims, I'll then give a brief introduction to what the timeline will be for each of my aims. Finally, we're going to talk about the impact and future directions of this proposal. This lets your readers know why they should fund this and then also what completing this project will allow them to do in the future. And so in this, you want to summarize your current project and what you're going to complete. Next, you want to describe the impact that your project is going to have. And then finally, you want to talk about what should be done after this project is completed and what type of research is going to be better informed because they gave you funding to complete this project. If you include all of this information with inside your research proposal, you're going to give your reader a good idea of exactly why they should fund it, how feasible it is, and how novel it is. This is going to set you up really well for being successful within your research proposal. If you're just getting started within research, consider getting my 30-day research jumpstart guide that will be available in the description below.